I think the first trial in this court was regarding my passport, when they refused to fill it in the Ukrainian language. The walls of the administrative court are now well known to Svetoslav from the Ukrainian city of Lviv. For years he has been coming here and disputing violations of the rights of the Ukrainian language. He has won several dozen cases. One of them was about his passport. The activist defended his right to receive the document without Russian text. In 2015, I received a new passport. At that time, the law demanding the second language to be chosen by the citizen had existed for a long time. I had to replace a damaged document, but they said, no, we'll definitely write in Russian. I had to take it to court. It ruled that I was right. Recently, Sviroslav started fighting for the cancellation of regional languages, which are null and void according to the new law on the state language. We compiled a list of councils where a regional language was adopted and wrote a demand. I am asking you to cancel it yourself because your order goes against the constitution and the law is anti-constitutional. Some councils reacted, others didn't want to cancel them on principle. That is why we addressed the prosecutor's office to make them fulfill their duty. At the beginning of 2019, the court supported Sviroslav's demand to deprive Russian the status of the original language in the Kharkiv region. In May, the same decisions were adopted in Dnipro, Kherson and the Donetsk region. Such orders of city councils allowed them to issue regulations and speak during sessions in a foreign language. It's a violation of Article 10 of the Constitution. Now such regulations have been cancelled. They are obliged to maintain documentation and speak in the Ukrainian language, as the Constitution demands. Svetoslav also decided to popularize his native language outside the country. Thanks to him, Hewlett-Packard laptops now have a Ukrainian keyboard, and multimedia systems of Volkswagen cars are also translated into Ukrainian. LG and Samsung now have to label their washing machines and microwaves in Ukrainian. It all started with the adoption of the language law in 2012. In it, I found a section stating that the text on household appliances should be in the Ukrainian language. I bought a washing machine and there was a panel in a foreign language. I asked for it to be replaced, but they refused. Then I filed a lawsuit. It lasted for a year and a half, and I won it. Sviatoslav is determined to achieve the cancellation of regional languages all across Ukraine. Therefore, he is preparing new lawsuits. Reported by Yulia Bil, UATV.